And if we have driverless cars, um, is that going to be an issue for the auto insurance companies like a GEICO? The answer is yes. I, I think it's a long way off, but, I, but there's no question. Anything that makes cars safer is very pro-social. And it's bad for the auto insurance industry. But nevertheless, the auto insurance industry has always worked on making cars safer. I mean, they've led the way on things like seat belts and all that. But, but if there are no accidents, there's no need for insurance. And I think there will be a big reduction in accidents over a longer period of time. And of course, it already has. I mean, cars have been made way, way safer. But now when you start making the driver safe, safer, uh, that would be a big, big jump. And, That'll happen someday, and, and when it happens, there'll be a whole lot less auto insurance written. Yeah, in the meantime, uh, auto accidents have gone up, as you pointed out, over the weekend because of um, just, drivers who aren't paying attention. They're, they're just the last their... year. I mean, generally speaking, the trend has been fabulous over the years. And, uh, you know, we literally have gone from 15 deaths per 100 million vehicle miles down to something close to one. I mean, that, that was huge. you got to give Ralph Nader credit. Yeah. for some of that and uh uh but last year there was an uptick which it seemed well there were more miles driven but i'm expressing this in terms of miles driven so you have to say that there was some other variable and i i think it's just almost has to be distracted driving charlie and bill warren has, has said repeatedly that he thinks the driverless cars is quite a way in the ways in the distance do you do you two agree with that assessment you think it's at least 10 years down the road yeah, even though the technology is very good today because of uh, trying to understand the liability issues, um, it's, it, it'll, you'll see experiments in a few leading edge cities around the world during the next decade. And if those go well, it'll start to spread. So uh, it's you know, certainly more than 15 years off before it'd be a, a meaningful percentage of, of cars driven. Charlie? It's intrinsically a very difficult thing to do. People are going to want to drive faster than the speed limit and so forth, and the software is not going to allow it. I think there's going to be lots of problems. <laughs> and, and, and so, and, but Berkshire has experienced technological destruction before. One of the earliest examples came from Bill Gates. We had this wonderful company that made this wonderful encyclopedia that produced $50 million of net income every year like clockwork. And Bill gave away a free encyclopedia with every bit of Microsoft software. And away went a large part of our profits from the encyclopedia business forever. And so he grew we, up we had, on the world book. I mean, it was, yeah, he's a he traitor. Grew up on, he's a traitor, that's right. <laughs> and it helped him. It helped him make his fortune, and now he destroyed it. It's just... That's just the way he is. <laughs> Bill, let, let's talk about um, Microsoft because Satya Nadella came in and a lot of people kind of scratched their heads. They didn't know too much about him, didn't expect him, but he's done a pretty phenomenal job and the stock has, has, uh, has come up pretty sharply as a result. What do, what do you think about the job he's doing and what, why do you think that Microsoft is um, really resonating so much on Wall Street these days? Well, I think the software industry as a whole has so much opportunity to improve things. And there are key aspects of that, like the office software, where Microsoft is absolutely the leader, and there's so many more things that can be done. Mm -hmm. In the cloud, we have a number of companies, uh, including Amazon, doing a great job, but Microsoft having some special enterprise support there, uh, which is, is really uh, quite unique. So. You know, I'm very happy with the job he's doing. I get to uh, send him a little advice. I, I put a little bit of time in on that. Uh, but there's some great frontiers where Microsoft is one of the leaders uh, to create immense software value. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.